truth or dare? Truth. Would you kiss a guy to save your life? Hell no! You choose dying over having to kiss a guy. Okay, so are we talking like how I kissed my mom? Or how much tongue is involved here? This game is stupid. Can we talk about something that isn't gay? You're absolutely right. Let's talk about our prom dates. Kango, who are you going with? Your mom! Excellent choice. She's a very nice lady and I heard she puts out pretty easily. What about you, Ricky? I'm probably not going. What? Why not? I just can't find a girl to go with. Girls don't like me for some reason. You mean to tell me you've never been with a girl before? No, I haven't. I see. Ricky, come with me for a moment. Get better soon! Why? Is he sick? No, I just think he could be better than he is. Ricky, you're like the younger sister I always wanted, but then got and realized I didn't like. I just want you to be happy, and a man cannot be happy without banging like 50 chicks. You can't actually believe that. I believe what I've been told to believe by every high school movie ever made. Now as your friend and a proficient lover, I will help you achieve happiness. You have no idea how gay that sounded. No, we're talking about the riverbed, and that makes it not gay. Look, I'm just not the type of guy women are interested in. Under normal circumstances, you'd probably be right. But that's why I'm here. I have a foolproof plan that will win you the hearts of many fine females. Uh, what's this? It's called a codec. It's like a walkie-talkie, but powered by magic. And also nano machines. And why do I have this? Remember when I killed that guy? Uh, okay, never mind. Anyway, with this codec, I can feed you my best pickup lines without anyone noticing. Like Cyrano de Bergerac? Yeah, except I can pronounce the word codec. Also, it lets me read your mind. What? You know, so you don't actually have to talk out loud. It's more efficient that way. Uh, I don't think I like that feature. And I obviously didn't ask for your opinion. Now look, there's a chick. What? Well, that's just cood. Yeah, man, you should go for it. She's like ten! That's never stopped me before. Okay, fine. We'll find one that's of age, Mr. High Standards Man. There you go. She looks at least 14. Just go up and talk to her, act natural, and let me know when you need help, buddy. Got it. Hey there! Hi. Crap, she, she spoke, spoke to me! To me. Help! help! Ricky, listen to me very carefully. I want you to ask her if she's ever seen the Lorax. The children's movie? No, I mean the greatest love story since Space Jam. Now ask her! Have you ever seen the Lorax? No. Great, Great, now what? Ask her if she wants to see it. Oh, now I get it. Hey, you wanna go see the Lorax? Not really. Ricky, listen to me very carefully. I want you to punch her in the face for me. No! Come on! She's obviously not human. That pickup line never fails. Do you have some sort of plan B? Man, I don't know. Just get her to talk about herself or something. Women like that. Alright, uh, tell me about yourself. Well, okay. Back when I was a little girl, I always dreamed of being a fire truck. Then I learned that that was impossible because my test scores were too low. So Great, now I'm bored too. too. Just bear with it, Ricky. It's for a good cause. You want to hear a joke to pass the time? What's one of the benefits of living in Switzerland? No. Well, the flag is a big plus. Get it? 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 I'm sorry. Am I boring you? No. I mean, yes, but I wasn't groaning because of you. I was groaning because my friend who talks to me in my mind told a bad joke. I see. That must be fun. See, Ricky? You're finally breaking the ice. Yeah, yeah talking to girls isn't as scary as I thought. Crap, she's leaving. Follow her. Wait, where are you going? C can I come with? Where I'm going is very far away. That's okay, though. I like... Uh, places. Very well. Follow me if you like. Sure, I'll follow you anywhere. Uh, I, I, I take that back. Ah, damn, that sucks, man. Don't worry about it, Ricky. There are plenty of other fish in the sea. Hey, I know what'll cheer you up. Baseball. So I decided to settle for carrying on the family business of selling already lit fireworks. Then one night, by freak accident, the entire factory blew up. So I ended up coming here to study drama. I figured if Tiny Faye could do it, then it must not be that difficult. <laughs>